What has happened in West Bengal under the watch of Mamta Banerjee and TMC government is nothing short of Nirbhaya Part 2. It is evident now that this was not a rape, it was a gang rape. The evidence is such, it indicates towards that. But only one accused has been arrested. The rest of the accused, I am told through my sources, are being protected because their links with TMC are there. If that is not the case, then why would the TMC government shamelessly reinstate the principal who has been removed just a few hours ago, Sandeep Ghosh, and give him an even better and bigger position in the National Medical College? What is the connection? What is the reason that Sandeep Ghosh is being lavished with such kind of posting? In the past two, when he has been removed, he has been reinstated within 24 hours. Is it because he was trying to cover up this entire matter as a suicide? We've seen that attempt. TMC government, even now the inquiry committee they have constituted, comprises of interns and people close to the TMC. So they want to hide something. And that is why, even though the doctors' association are protesting from days on end, that let us have a CBI probe. Mamta Banerjee government is adamant to stand with the accused like they have done in Shah Jahan's case. They did not stand with Sandesh Kali women. They stood with Tajmul. They did not stand with the victim of Uttar Dinajpur. And in every case, we see this is the pattern. Today, Ma Mati Manush are no longer Surakshit in West Bengal. But the question is, where is Ladki Hu, Lad Sakti Hu brigade of Priyanka Vadra, Rahul Gandhi, Indi Alliance leaders like Priyanka Chaturvedi, they are silent on Sandesh Khali, silent on Swati Malibal and silent on Nirbhaya Part 2.